<laughs> no, I'll tell you that. I'll give you a classic example of nutters, right? You see these people all the time on the TV. These people are, of course, eyewitnesses, right? <laughs> now, there seems to be some law which suggests that if there's anything worth seeing, the only people to see it won't actually be able to string a sentence together. <laughs> all right? Yeah. A fireball crashes into Siberian rainforest. The only person to see it is Nigel, who happens to be March 1983 Watford Gap Services Employee of the Month. <laughs> it went... <laughs> and then it was like... <laughs> like that. You see, either it's too little information, or they try and tell you a little bit too much, you know? They tell you about the minutiae of their daily lives, because hopefully they think that'll make it even more exciting. Yeah. Clive Pocock, you were the only person to see the UFO. Can you describe exactly what happened? Yes, I can. It was 5 and 20 to 5. I was in the lounge. I was eating a potato waffle. <laughs> well, normally, that'd be caught past four. But it was a little bit later, because there was a lot of traffic in the village. Brian Camp was in town, sponsoring a new wall. <laughs> and about eight minutes later, I moved through to the kitchen area and began to prepare a pot noodle snack for my wife, Beryl. Uh, chicken and was it? Was it? Big mushroom? Don't be daft, woman, you're allergic. <laughs> and then, at that moment, my half-brother, Eric, appeared, and he shouted out, Clive! Like that, because he's got a loud voice. He's got a loud voice. And I see him, because, of course, we've had it all knocked through. You know, we've had the new dado rail put in. <laughs> and it's really lovely. And uh, I said, Eric, what are you doing here? You're meant to be picking up Barry and Reenie and taking them to see the Wurzels at Newton Abbott Community Centre. <laughs> and he said, oh, no, the Wurzels have been cancelled. Apparently the van broke down. They've had to fill in with an emergency papier-mâché workshop. <laughs> and they can't say Reenie, because, of course, she's got an irrational fear of papier-mâché, which is true. Ever since she went to Wookiee Hole Paper Factory, got one of her breasts caught in a pulpy room. <laughs> and then he said, oh, by the way, there's a bloody great UFO out in your garden. So we ran out there, you know, but, uh, yeah, gone. <laughs>